Hey, what's going on guys? Hope that one will be fine and welcome back to another course. So in this video, I'm going to explain you about how to connect MongoDB with using Node.js, right? So if you're a very new beginner for this tutorial, it's absolutely fine. I want to try my best to cover up all the things which are included. So I also have created a very basic video where I have used the connectivity, um, a very basic server for, for Node.js. So I also have one of the video I also created with the adding with uh, MySQL uh, with the Node.js. So you can also connect, add the data using Node.js with, uh, with the help of uh, MySQL language. So that's also the two videos that I have. I wanna give this link in the description, right? So in this video, I'm gonna cover up to connect by MongoDB with using uh, Node.js. So in order to work with this tutorial, first you need to go to the software and uh, visit mongodb.com and inside that you see a community server, just click on that. And uh, there you see we have the version, you have the package, depending on when you're going to watch the, and the package is MSI file, right? So you can simply download that. So. Um, I already have uh, downloaded that and a very basic installation you need to just click next and uh, depending upon that you want to have your custom or uh, the version or you have to complete that right I have installed the complete version so uh, next you have your Node.js installed on your system which is uh, which in this video is currently 12.10 or 14.14 I have installed the current version, so it's a very basic installation. I believe you good guys can do. So once you install the MongoDB, it should be definitely, if you haven't changed the path, that should be inside your program files. And if you go to the uh, MongoDB, I believe, yeah, MongoDB 4.4 version inside bin, and there you see that you have your Mongo, which is the application, right? So that's where you can um, add your, you can see your database and everything, right? So that's what I will do later on. But here I just added control L, right? To remove everything from there, right? So we can see later on, first we want to go into the Node.js, right? So here on my desktop, I'm, I'm gonna create a new folder and set that to be uh, MongoDB connection, Node.js, right? So I created the folder and I have installed the git bash. So I'm using git bash here as my command line. You can use a very basic or you can open up by while using a very basic from your settings, right? Uh, so I have used this um, uh, a very good uh, command line, which is the git bash. So you can also install that. I, I wanna give the link in the description too for that. You can visit git-scm.com and you can easily install that, right? So I wanna show you that up here git-scm.com and all you need to do is to just click on the download version and you can simply install that and and the good thing about the uh, Visual Studio code uh, using using the uh, git bash it provides you a lot of um, command line um, ways that you can easily open up and you see here is a trick that I just simply put code and space dot that's gonna open up my Visual Studio code right so I'm gonna use my VS Code as my tax editor. It's up to you, whatever you want, whatever you feasible to use with that, right? So the first thing I'm gonna do is to press my Control and tilde, which is left with the number one, and you see that you can open up your command terminal or you can open up from using this, right? Uh, simply go to the view and click on the terminal. That's where you can open up, right? So it's very simple, right? Next we have to, uh, the first thing that in order to work with the Node.js, as Node.js is explained to be something which is very fast, it's a non-socket IO calls, that means that it works on the single thread, it's very fast and very popular, all right? So I, I want to explain some basics about it and it's work on the Chrome V8, uh, V8 engine, which is, uh, which is extremely, extremely great, fabulous, fast, and uh, th 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 these are the main things that why people start working with the Node.js. So uh, I highly recommend that if you guys are still, uh, if, if you guys want to learn more about Node.js, you can uh, definitely, um, I wanna make a video on the request, right? There is no issue with that. Now, there are also great tons of resources available and uh, I hope you guys can fi find very well, but I just created that video a lot separate and very much 
different from the other content creators uh, so I hope that that want to be really helpful for you all right so first I'm going to do is to install the uh, NPM but make sure that you have node.js installed on your system so first I'm gonna do is to NPM uh, initialize right so once I just type enter that gonna ask me a few questions about the package name which I leave blank or right, it's keep asking me the yeah sorry I have to add the URL right so app.js version leave that blank description mongodb and said that to be mongodb connection right and the entry point in my case should be app.js so this is basically the main file that's where we can place all the routes all the um, path modules the the modules all thing that we can add up in the index.js by default it give give us the index.js but I'm happy with the uh, app.js file right the test command leave that blank git repository keywords leave that blank author whatever the name you want to write so I'm gonna write my author name license and just keep that enter and now we have our package.json file installed on our on our system uh, which is the main manifest file for our application and there you see the everything that we have type into the command and that's gonna show up here right so we have the name we have the version we have the description as I've explained this is the main entry point file which in our case is app.js right so that's what we are done with the installation for our package.json but i need to install some uh, some uh, more commands for for running on my uh, terminal right so first time uh, next i'm going to install here npm install i'm using something which is known as uh, which is which is known as the uh, express right so that's that's what is basically a backend server side uh, it it help uh, it it really help us to um, work with the APIs like if I want to have my get request post request uh, that that makes our things a lot much easier. If you're using Node.js for a while and you see that Express makes your request and your response really easier, but if you're working with the core Node uh, and and your JavaScript running on the runtime so that's where it you, you need to add a lot of code and that's it be a little bit difficult uh, but I think so with the help of uh, Express it makes your application really robust and and really flexible right so npm install in order to install your Express so I'm gonna type here npm install dash dash save Express and press enter and that wanna be uh, our that's that's where we can install our express and if i want to go to my package.json file and there you see we have we also add up on our dependencies right and that's gonna install uh, uh npm uh, node underscore module which has bunch of uh, packages installed inside our node underscore modules using the npm command and next we want to I'm gonna use my uh, template engine uh, uh, my view as a as a EGS right so I'm gonna install that so npm install EGS and uh, there, there are a lot of uh, template engine that node use you can use a bug on which is known as Jade you can use handlebars but I, I, I love uh, using EGS which is more popular than the pug but more highly it's use handlebars and you can use with EGS which is uh, which I feel a lot comfortable to work with that right so next I'm gonna install uh, EGS layouts uh, for my for setting up my layouts right so most of the things you guys might not um, um, find difficult to but you just keep going with me and I hope you can understand that so that's the Express EGS layouts next i'm gonna do is to also install the global cross environment right so you can install that too so i'm gonna run here and let's copy that from my right so npm install dash global so that's gonna install the cross environment and and the, and the good thing about that uh, we can add up the production mode and also we can add up our um, uh, production mode or the development mode and that's why where I just run that command so what actually means that we can run on any uh, platform right so let's gonna install one more thing here that's be the cross environment for the node mod so if I click enter press enter 
So node one is actually which continuously run our uh, our server, right? If you just uh, for instance, if you write something on your page or layout, so you need to keep entering the command and uh, keep refreshing that. So that's going to avoid us uh, using uh, for keep refreshing the page. So it continuously run our server, right? So I hope we have installed almost all the all the um, modules or the all the major commands for that. And next, we want to go is to uh, create the entry file, which are in our case is app.js, right? So let's gonna do is to create the uh, um, very basic include the express right. So you all you need to do is to include a, a const express equal to require, and let's type here express. So if we bring up the uh, express, and next we need to include is to uh, is to include the app with the express. We need to initialize the app. So I bring here app equal to express. So we bring our app into the uh, in, inside the app variable. And next I need to do is to define a port. So let's suppose if I want to define a port with the, um, we define the port. And uh, before defining the port, I believe, just leave it 3000 for now. And uh, I gonna do is to app the listen and give it uh, so remove uh, or remove that for now but because I want to keep the things very simple initially so you guys could understand right so we can uh, bring up the callback function so you can also write like that way too so function or or the previous ES5 uh, method but I'm gonna do things a, a bit different so I'm gonna do with the ES6 standards our new standards right so it's all up to you whatever you feel comfortable with that Right, so we bring up the port and callback function, and inside that, um, I'm gonna do is to uh, console dot log and bring the back ticks and here server started on port three thousand. Right, so now we have our server running. Let's do is npm run dev and I hope this is gonna show us the error and the reason why because we are missing the script so I, all I need to do is to go inside my package.json file and uh, let's gonna bring up the um, the module for that right so if I go inside my scripts and just remove that test into start so first I want to um, include the uh, production mode right so just remove that all and bring here the cross dash env and that's what I just run the command right so that's where we can um, so I want to run the npm uh, node one cross dash env right so I want to run uh, on the production mode and also on the development mode so that's where I have I created that script and 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 uh, inside the cross env we can bring up the node underscore env which is uh, which which is the variable that we want to pass in right you can see later on right so I'm gonna bring here the production so the production mode and uh, let's bring here the node app right so uh, next we want to bring here the development so here I'm gonna do the same thing despite we need to bring up the node mod here because we want to continuously run the server right so there I'm gonna bring up the node mod and that's definitely into our development mode, right? Because we want to keep continuously running our server on the development mode, right? Okay, so next I'm gonna do here is, um, let's first run the server again and see, right? So here I define npm run dev and you see the server now started on port 3000. So that means that we have, we have our server running on using, uh, using Express and next thing I'm gonna do is to make things a lot better so I'm gonna remove that from the just just comment this out so you guys can see later on right so I'm gonna write in the better way so let's create a variable with the port number and uh, bring here the process.env right so the process.env dot port which uh, which I want to 
run on my production and the development mode so let's suppose if i have my server running on the production uh, with the port 5000 and on port which is on the process env on the that means that on the development mode i want to do is to again i want to listen the port all right uh i keep doing that right so app dot listen and bring your port inside that and let's bring the console dot log and uh, give it the server running on the server running in basically because we need to check this out it's the development mode or the production mode right so dot env dot n o d e underscore env so mode on and uh, i want to also see that which port number that it's going to run so i bring up here the port uh, let's bring that up here and uh, something is wrong which i believe server running in dollar process dot env dot node underscore env uh, that should be closed right up here right so now it's all good from now okay so next i'm going to do is to oops it's giving giving me server running in development mode on 5000 so this just move that extra parentheses out of here so now you see that it's running on the port 5000 and the reason is that because if i want to do is to let's gonna create the uh, port uh as in inside our config folder right so i'm gonna create another folder just to make things a lot better so i'm going to create a config folder and inside i'm going to in define my env environment variables right so i'm going to do is to config.env uh, and uh, give it the port number of 3000 right for now all right so let's close that right i don't need that okay so we bring up the uh, um the uh, it's running on the development mode on 5000 and uh, let's run on the um, on the another mode, which is I believe is the uh, is the production mode. So in order to run the, on the production mode, now I just keep running that run that again. Npm run dev, and it's server running in development mode on five thousand. And if I want to type here npm start, and you see that it's running server running in production mode which i believe uh, i i'm just missing something here right um it's just bring that 3000 sorry about that so that should be 3000 and uh, that's fine okay let's close that up and you can run the uh, start uh what should be it's npm start right so you see now it's running on the production mode on 3000 and I want to run on the on the development mode. So let's bring up here npm run dev. All right, so now we have our server running and the next thing I'm going to do is to uh, create the express layout. For that, I need to do is to include that after that so let's bring here const and express layouts equal to require and bring here the express dash egs dash layouts right so we bring up here and uh, i need to load my view engine in order to load your view engine um, all i'm gonna do here is let's put up here load view engine so app.use, in order to use EJS, you need to first bring this express uh, layouts, which are, we already bring up on the top, and app.set, and bring here the view engine, which in our case is EJS, right? I hope you guys, it, it definitely makes sense, and it shows up an error, it says, um, cannot express uh, cannot access express layouts uh, before initialization right and uh, 
That's fine, I believe. Yeah, so I need to bring that on top of it, okay? Right, so now we are done with our error and uh, let's bring up our routes first. So I'm gonna create another folder. Routes are basically the inside uh, routes. We are gonna define our URLs and I also want to create uh, two more folder, right? So I just create another folder with the name of routes. So let's bring the routes in and uh, it should be out of the views folder right so I bring the routes and just deletes the uh, um, routes folder right so I delete that right and so inside views I'm gonna create my two main uh, two files first with the layout right so layout.ejs and the second file I want to create here is the main dot uh, or I just want to do is to index dot uh, EJS right all right so now I have created some files and uh, I need to create some model as well later on so first uh, I, all I'm I'm gonna do is to while if you install your um, database uh, for the mongos if you are done with your installation right so the very basic thing all you need to do is to first press the control L and all you can open up. I just want to close up and just want to show you again. Click on the Mongo and uh, once you are, once you open up the Mongo, I'm going to press control L and that's going to remove everything, right? First use, use show DBs, right? So that's going to show us all the databases that we have, right? Next I'm going to do is to choose the database, right? So let's gonna put up here db dot and I, I think so I need to use here use test db1 so it switched to that and next I'm gonna create my very first collection so db dot create collection and inside the collection which is basically a table so I want my table to be blocks and just it says okay one and uh, next I'm gonna do is to show I think so it should be show blocks if I'm not wrong and it says an error so let's bring here show collections so you see that we have a table with the name of blocks right we can we can use with show collections right next we can um, add the database that we have just created so let's the um, we bring the collection of blogs so blogs um, I think I need to hear type test DB1 which is the name of our database so test DB1 and uh, let's bring up the collection name which is blogs and insert that so we are using the same like the JSON format and let's bring here the title and uh, give it the uh, title uh, or, or give it the blog one and uh, press comma and uh, let's bring here the body and this is blog one right so I press enter it says Desk DB1 is not defined. And if I just want to type here, let's add that into what I'm missing actually. DB, yeah, it should be db.blocks.insert, right? So in order to check this out, I need to do is to db.blocks fine and you see that we have our very first collection with the ID and the title and the body now in order to see that in a better way you can use here pretty here right so we have our very first uh, ID we have a title we have a blog right so everything is now uh, everything set up here right so let's gonna do is I'm gonna close that up and go inside my uh, inside our uh, project and I'm gonna create my 
first I'm gonna run here mongoose which is basically for working with the database we need to run mongoose so let's bring up here npm install dash dash save and bring a mongoose right so that's gonna install the uh, mongoose with us for us and uh, next I'm going to do do is to create a folder inside the config let's create a new file and set that to be db.js and inside uh, db.js I'm gonna create here mongoose I'm gonna include that up here so const mongoose equal to require and bring here mongoose and let's create a variable with the name of connect db and uh, bring here the async function uh, for the for, for running our db and uh, bring here the try and the catch so we're going to use some try catch and uh, for the try we need to listen uh, right so i i'm going to create a variable with the cost so it continuously wait and connect it mongoose.connect once it connects with the promise which in which we are getting from the uh, so it says an error because it should be a wait right so const connection we wait the connection mongoose.connect and bring here the process.env dot and uh, the name of the variable which is coming from the mongo underscore uri and uh, that's basically we I, I need to bring that uh, bring that in inside the uh, inside the config.env and let's bring up the uh, name uh, it should be uh, mongo underscore uri and let's bring here mongo db that should be so mongo db colon double slash and definitely we are connecting with a local host and the name of the db that in our case was let's see so i'm going to open up that again and press control l and make this a bit smaller All right so let's do here show dbs uh, yeah so it it should be test db1 i believe so uh, i'm gonna use here use test db1 show collections so yeah so it's it, it's our test db1 right so just bring this in inside that so localhost slash test db1 right so i bring here test db1 and uh, if I go inside my db.js, so we bring this in mongoose.uri and next next pass here some few, few parameters for removing. If I don't pass these, so this is gonna show us some errors on a console. So just to remove that, so use new. So it should be use new URL parser, that should be true. Next we have use unified topology. So just bring this in and set that to be true. Next, we have to give use, find, and modify, and, and give it that to be false, right? We don't need any modification. All right, so inside the catch, I'm gonna pass my error and set that to be console the log. If there's some error, just shows that up. And uh, next, we have our, we need to close the, um, we need to close the connection in order if there's some error. So we pass a process.exit1, right? And let's run the server with using npm run dev. And definitely this is gonna show some error because we don't export out it to our database. So let's pass the module.exports. I it, it doesn't give the error because I haven't imported into the main, right? So module.exports equal to connect db right so i just now just pass that into the app.js so let's go into the app.js and bring up the uh, db here so const connect db connect uh, it should be 
that's a better way to add and require that using the common module so dot slash config slash and the name of the file that is db right and uh, that's not gonna work yet because we need to also load the configuration um, let's bring up the it's let's bring up here the connect db and press enter and it shows some error it says that the uri parser to you to open uri must be a string got undefined and let's see okay so we bring that in mongo underscore uri that should be equal to mongodb colon double slash localhost and uh, inside the connection of db so we create the connection and uh, we wait for that process.env that's going to get from the uh, from the configuration environment and pass some environment right so yeah i need to bring here console.log also need to see so mongo db connected if it's connected so let's going to show up the host right so con dot connection dot host saves that and it says it says the uri parameter to let's gonna see so that's fine it says must be a string got undefined make sure that the first parameter to mongoose.connect or mongoose.create connection okay so if i want to go back to um let's bring up the path module here uh, which i might not yeah i need to add that because because we need to bring that env here so let's bring up here the path module which is the uh, node core module which is already uh, inside our which is by default inside our node.js right so const path equal to let's bring here const path equal to require path and uh, all i need is is to load the configuration about that and uh, just just make that a bit down so it looks more elegant and here i'm gonna load the configuration so let's bring here the dot env i need to include that up as well so dot env dot config uh, and uh, bring here inside that we pass the object path and here we have the config and inside config we have the file with the name of config.env saves it and it's going to shows up an error and it says that cross dash still is showing me something yeah it says dot env is not defined and it should be dot env and and it should be defined here so const dot env equal to require and bring here the dot env right saves it and see and saves it it still shows up an error it says cannot find module dot env and i believe that should be because we haven't installed the dot env so in order to install the dot env you need to do is to just close that up and say npm install dot env and press enter so that's going to install and let's run that our server npm run dev and you see now our mongodb is connected with our database right so that's very simple and elegant right so in order to show you 
in a real uh, way that how it's it's gonna work right so I'm uh, I'm going to inside my layout.ejs and let's create a very basic HTML and say is that mongo DB connection and uh, here inside the index.ejs but before going to index.ejs I'm gonna create some routes and inside routes I'm gonna create my very first route and set that to be index dot uh, index dot js and uh, let's pass up here the get request right so um, hmm. so I'm gonna bring up my express here so const express equal to require express And bring up the router for the navigation so express dot router I'm also gonna show up that how we can set up our layouts using EJS right so I bring the bring this in and uh, the first request that I want to have is the get request so router dot get and pass here slash we have the request in, and the response inside that so that's all inside the documentation right so let's bring a rest dot send to send the response and set that to be hello right and if I just try to save it and if I want to go to the something like I go to my Chrome and run it on the 3000 it says cannot get and the reason why it's it's saying that because we have an imp export it out right so module dot exports equal to router and let's bring up inside the app.js so inside app.js I'm gonna go to the app.js file and bring my routes after let's bring up the here so I'm gonna pass my routes and use here app dot fuse and bring here the slash and we required the routes and inside require it should be inside the routes folder we have the file name with the index right so let's gonna do that again and see and now you see that we can see our hello right so we can easily respond our send now the most important thing that we need is we can render how we can render the layouts right in order to render the layouts I'm gonna do inside my layout uh, in, inside the index.ejs let's change that to because it's really confusing so I believe let's make that to be um, uh, you can let's we are working with the blogs so let's give that welcome.ejs right and uh, now what I'm gonna do next here is let's also create the the uh, the model right so in order to, why I'm creating a model because we need to define that uh, we need to view uh, all the results coming from the Mongo and onto onto our browser so let's create a model and uh, I'm creating a models and in, inside models that should be outside right it should be on our root directory so I created a models and create a new file and set that to be post.js and uh, let's bring up here mongoose so I'm gonna bring up here uh, it should be let mongoose equal to require mongoose and create a schema for my blog so let's create a blog schema so let blog schema equal to mongoose dot schema and uh, pass some title here so let's bring up here title and uh, inside title um, we have our type of string we define type of string and I think so that's why Mongo, MongoDB is so flexible that we can uh, change on we can do lot much changes uh, on the application layer right so next we have our body 
and set that to be type of string and uh, we give it the required to be true all right so let's create a variable here and set that to be let post equal to we need to export that out so module dot exports equal to mongoose dot model for the database so mongoose dot model and uh, we need to bring up our blog here so blog and uh, the name of the variable that should be block scheme all right all right so we are almost done with the uh, models here and um, next i want to show you in case of ejs everything that i'm uh, we passed inside the body and we need to continually uh, because we need the, this structure inside our every page so but before going that i want to render that out i want to show you the way that how we can render it so let's uh, remove that and bring a rest dot render and bring up here the name of the file that should be let's bring up here welcome and inside the welcome uh, inside the layout i'm going to define here the body so for in case for body i bring a percentage that that's the uh, we sign text for the ages right in order to pass dynamically the data i need to go up here and you can see here uh, it says close tag for hmm can could not find matching close tag so it should be yeah it should be percentage right just saves it and go back to the browser and I believe everything works well, right? So now you see it's showing me empty in my case uh, because I haven't bring anything here. So let's bring here hello and saves it. And refresh it and now you can see that we have a hello here displayed here, right? So we can render the layouts too. All right, so it shows some error and it says and run that again okay that's fine okay it was it i think so it's lagged it i have a lag on my system okay now next i'm going to do is to show all the post all the blocks that we just created so inside the welcome.ejs i'm going to create a container so let's create a container and inside container I'm gonna pass here h3 I'm using bootstrap here so I have to bring that in first so bg dash dark and um, inside app dot uh, sorry not inside the app dot js inside my views I need to bring my bootstrap so let's get here the not the postman it should be get bootstrap.com and grab the CDN for the bootstrap and bring this in here okay now go back to the welcome.egs and I want the background to be black text dash white and uh, bring here the padding dash p dash 4 and text dash center it should all be inside the class next I want to pass dynamically my title and in order to pass that title and where that is coming from we can we can do different ways right so first I'm gonna do uh, I want to show you a very basic way of doing it so let's go back to the routes index.ejs and in order to pass some variable to our layout we can also do that so for that I need to do is to simply after the render where we have render up we need to pass here comma let's do it the 
title let's say that to be hello world and in order to pass here all i'm gonna do is let's see bring up the percentage equal to title and percentage saves it and let's go back to the and you see it's hello world right so that's working very well and uh, i'm gonna just make this a bit smaller <laughs> all right so let's go up here and remove it but before doing that i i'm just want to show you one more way that if there is no any post let's post i mean to say it that we need to bring up our all the blog here so let blog equal to we need to we need to include our model because we need to dynamically check it we have our models variable and inside models we create all the that should be where the hell we created oh actually i just need to cut that out and bring this outside of the root directory so i'm going to create the models variable and inside models i'm going to create a file with the name of blogs.js and now bring this in all here right okay so what i'm going to do here is let blog equal to require and bring it in bring in this the models slash it should be blog right so now we have our blog and uh, we need to pass dynamically and afterwards inside the schema um what actually i did here is actually i need to include that inside the routes okay so inside the routes just remove that and bring here the blog and inside that you see we have our render of our template and we need to after the get request i'm going to do is to blog dot find and i need all the results to be shown inside our blogs collection and we need to pass here the error and the parameter for the blog okay so next i'm gonna do is to if there should be some errors then show that up and in case if there are some results let's bring up the else and pass the render section inside that uh, let's then that right so looks better now okay so we need to pass the dynamic results here so i'm going to remove the title and all i'm going to push up here the blocks that should be coming from my right it should be blocks right just pass the blocks and give it the blocks and the value of blocks okay so everything looks fine for now and go to the welcome.ejs and bring up here the um we need to bring up here the loop here so it's very simple yeah for the ejs standard i pass here for and give it the uh, let i equal to zero and bring as long as i less than block dot length and bring here i plus plus and let's open up the parentheses and inside parentheses and bring up here the percentage as well okay so i'm gonna do is next we need to do the same thing percentage percentage and okay now i need to you do is to list group so i'm using ul bootstrap class li of list dash group dash item and uh, that should be li so 
inside li i'm going to put up here the percentage percentage opening and the closing and we need to show the results so i put equal to and let's bring it up here the blocks dot and you know, on the loop pass here the loop value so let's pass here i inside the array and we need to check the title now we need to pass this title in that case because that we are showing up to the page so let's bring up the title value to be blocks all right so let's go back and see and refresh this and now you see that we have our results shown from our database which is blog one let's create another collection right so I, all i'm going to do is do db dot blogs dot insert and set that to be block two this is block two and save it, it insert it in order to check this out you see you see now we have our two values right so in order if i just refresh that and you see now we have a block one and block two right so it's very simple it's very elegant we can also do the same stuff for a post so blog i dot body let's bring up the body and check this out how it looks so body and you see this is blog one and this is blocks two let's make that a better one in order to put some strong text here and pass that inside the strong text and bring up here the colon and see all right so we are done with that so i believe you have learned a lot of a lot of stuff from here right and uh, I, that's what I you, you can find uh, very few tutorials like this and um, you can see first I want to explain everything here we have our config we have models routes views and it's it's just like the real application I, I just show you we created the layout we passed that layout to all the pages but in our case we created a one page we bring a model uh, we, we, we bring our layout and we pass that we pass the models and inside the model we export that and that should be blog right but it's, it's still working definitely because we export that out it's fine and uh, that's how we can all work with the variables and all, all we work with the routes we work with the views and inside the most important file with the db.js so this is the more elegant way we pass with the inside the environment variable and all stuff right so i hope you guys will enjoy uh, this series and uh, if you are more interested to learn i'm, I'm going to make uh, the next video about the crud operation so thank you for watching and keep subscribing and like my youtube channel